Welcome to this uh, Windows Computer and Technology channel and we're going to talk about internet speed because there's a lot of mistakes done on what speed you are, what speed you can achieve, what is exactly the true speed of your internet service provider. Now, when you go and get the internet, they have a bunch of numbers throwing at you. And they're going to say, well, this is, you know, 100 megabits up, down, whatever. Um, and some ISPs do not live up to the speed that you should have. Some ISPs do. On the other end, the hardware you have might limit you for Internet speed at the same time. So the first thing you should actually check is what is the advertised speed that your internet service provider is telling you you should have. If it's, you know, 20 megabits down and 10 megabits up or 1 megabits up or is 100 or 200 or a gigabit, depending on the service you have, it could be real fast, it could be a third of the internet, it could be real slow. So the first check with your ISP. My ISP that I have right now is 120 megabits down. What does that mean down? It means what you're receiving is 120 megabits in speed. And my internet service provider is pretty good at maintaining that speed. My up speed is in the 20 megabits per second. So it's slower when I send to the internet than it is when I receive. Most of our internet service is asynchronous. That means it's faster download, slower upload. It's been like that for a lot of ISPs and services over time. But there are services out there that have symmetric connection. That means you are as fast up as you are down. Now, how do you test it? How do you test if your connection is really the speed that they say? Well, there's a website that makes it easy for you to go there, and it's called speedtest.net. So if you go to your browser, and I'll put the link in the description below the video, if you go to speedtest.net, you'll see this big button. It's going to tell you your ISP. It's going to tell you what server it's using to compare it with, usually the closest to you. And then you have the go button. Click there. So I got 120 down, 20 up. I should be in that range. And here we are. This is my down speed. You see it's even a little faster. 130, 131. So that's my down speed. My ISP is pretty good at uh, internet speeds in general. And then you'll have the second number, which is going to tell you what's the upload speed or the speed that you send to the internet. Mine is rated at 20. We're at 22, which is okay. And the ping, which is in milliseconds, is the amount of time it took from you to when you clicked on the go button to receive the request and for your computers to answer. So that number needs to be the smallest possible. When it's 100 or 200 or 300 milliseconds, it means that the, there's a big delay in actually the um, uh, service that you have in between computers. So if it resembles what I have, meaning that the numbers you know from your ISP and the numbers you get here are really close, you, sh you have pretty good service that is the one you chose and depending on the speed you have. Now, one of the things that a lot of people don't know is that depending on how you connect to your router or modem, you might not achieve the speed that you should. An example is that if you have an old router and you have an old uh, computer that has a Wi-Fi card that is, you know, N uh, technology, because today we are up to the AC technology and, and AX which is much faster, you might actually be limiting yourself because your router and your Wi-Fi cards are too slow to handle this speed. Typically, if you go down 
to your connection. So I'll go back here, right click on it, and go into Open Network in Internet Settings. You'll see the status of your connection. And go into the Properties. Here, you will have speeds. Look at my connection, which says link speed received transmit 866 megabits per second. What does that mean? I'm not seeing 100, you know, 800 when I test the internet. That's because this speed is different than the internet speed. What you want is when you test on speed test to be as close as what they tell you you should be. What you want here is to have a connection that is faster or at least equal to the speed that you have. Some people here will see that their megabits per second speed is very, very low. And sometimes lower than your actual internet connection. That means either you have old technology or your computers are not connecting properly or what could also happen is that you're too far away from your router. That link speed will go down the further you are from your Wi-Fi device, whether it's the router or the modem that, you're, uh, that has a, a router included Wi-Fi router inside. The fastest speed that you can achieve in general is when you're connected through a cable, an Ethernet cable directly into the modem to your PC. This, for most PCs today, is one uh, gigabit connection, which is, you know, 1,000 megabits. Um, but that could limit. Like I said, if this link speed here is slower than your actual Internet speed, you'll have slower Internet then is advertised because of your hardware or like I said the distance you are from your router might do uh, 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 you know might be one of the responsible things there is also a difference in speed from a 5 gigahertz band and 2.4 which is the two main uh, connectivity frequencies that you can achieve on Wi-Fi so it's important to know that. But speedtest.net will tell you your actual real speed. The rest is check to make sure that your link between your modem and your computer or the Wi-Fi is at least as fast or faster. If not, what's the problem? It could be that you're on old technology, like I said, um, you know, 802.11n. That would be older technology that might not reach your actual speed. Uh, in some cases, if it's just the router, you can actually change the router for a more modern version. It could be the Wi-Fi card within your device. Depending on the device you use, some are easy to change, some are kind of not easy, but you can add one through USB if you really need. They do sell USB Wi-Fi adapters that uh, will actually make it more modern and faster for your internet connection. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.